This video discusses what are even signals, what are odd signals, how can we extract out an even part from a given signal. And if we add even with an even signal or if we multiply even with an odd signal, so what would be an outcome? So for even signals, we have a signal which is symmetric around its origin. So this means that for this signal, if we flip it, right, so that signal would not be different from the original signal. So that's why it's called an even signal. This means that x of t is equivalent to x of minus t. Whereas for odd signals, the signals are anti-symmetric around the origin. So that is if you have this signal so you would have to flip it and then invert it right then you would get back your original signal that is x of t is equal to x of minus t that is the mirror image and then inversion in the amplitude scale minus x of minus t right so flip and inversion an important consideration over here is that for odd signals, the signal must pass through zero. So if the signal is not passing through zero, then it cannot be an odd signal. So any signal can be decomposed into its even part and odd part. For example, this is a signal which is an odd signal, but you can extract out an even part from it. And for that, you, what you would have to do is you would have x of t, and then you can flip it and you would have x of minus t. So add these two signals together and then scale by 1 by 2. So you would eventually get a signal which is an even signal. right? So that is an even part of it. And similarly, uh, for any given signal, you can have an odd part. That is, you flip it and subtract that signal from the original signal and you will get an odd part of it. So by this, what I mean is that if you add x e of t, that is the even part, with the odd part x o of t so if you add these two together so this would mean that uh, this would cancel with this signal and 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 would make it 1 so you would eventually get x of t right so this means that any signal x of t can be decomposed into its even part and its odd part so now let us look into one brief example so in this example, we have a function which is neither even nor odd, but we are interested in finding the even part and odd part of the signal. So you would observe that uh, the expression for even part and odd part are written over here. And both these expressions desire that we uh, need x of minus t. So from here, we can get x of minus t. This is x of t. So x of minus t is just a flip version of it, which is over here. So this goes on the right side which is one so this will become minus one and this will be so this is the flip version of x of t which is x of minus t so to calculate even part of it we would add x of t with x of minus t so this is done over here and then of course we would have to multiply it by one by two so let us start from right to less left since we are interested in addition so let's start from two so from two to one x of t has this signal which has a magnitude of 1 but at the same time x of minus t is 0 so we have the same addition coming from this part so that would be equivalent to 1 and this is over here next x of t is decreasing but at the same time now we have x of minus t from 1 to 0 the amplitude is 1 right so this one is appearing over here this block but at the same time, this would be superimposed on it. Initially, we would have an increasing function and then it would decrease and we would have 1. So the maximum point should be 2 over here. But do note that we are also scaling by 1 by 2. This means that we would divide this by 2 and this would be 1 by 2. So originally, this would be 1 and this would become 0 0.5. And same procedure would happen over here. Uh, this is a constant value so you would have 1 and then this is increasing so it would start to increase from 1 and go up until 2 and then it will drop down because this is becoming 0 and then it will continue here until minus 2 this is minus 1 so you can observe that this signal is now an even signal 
So from a signal which was neither even nor odd, we have extracted out an even part. And similarly, what we can do is we can subtract this signal from this signal. If we subtract this from that signal, we would get an odd part, which is uh, plotted over here. So as an interesting exercise, if you add this with this, you should be able to get back your original signal. That is, if you add even part with an odd part, eventually you should get back your original signal. So next, we have some interesting combinations. That is, if you have an even signal and you add another even signal with it, what are you going to extract out? So this would be an even signal. Similarly, if there's an odd signal and you're adding an odd signal, naturally, since odd signals must pass through zero, so this would be an odd signal. Next, if an odd signal is added with an even signal, so we are not sure what would happen, but maybe it's neither even nor odd. So this is generally neither. Now, if we have multiplications, that is, you multiply even signal with an even signal, so the outcome would again be an even signal, right? That would be symmetric around its origin. And if you multiply odd signal with an even signal, you're going to get an odd signal. And odd with odd is going to give you an even signal, right? So these are some interesting combinations when you have two different set of signals which are either uh, even or odd. So what would be an eventual outcome?